Plans are underway for the long-talked-about Tobago Carnival. For quite some time, stakeholders on the island have been lobbying for a carnival separate from the annual national festival. Though the COVID pandemic halted the nation's carnival activities this year, the Tobago Festivals Commission is going ahead with plans to develop the Tobago Carnival idea with the hopes it can be realized by 2022. Tobagonian creative Kevon McKenna has been hired by the commission as the consultant to spearhead this new venture. The Festivals Commission has been hosting a series of consultations with stakeholders and on Thursday McKenna had a virtual conversation with carnival interest groups where he highlighted ideas on the table. What we're suggesting is that the national one we concentrate on kids and expand the kids event um, which would give us time to, to, um, to treat with and educate and train the kids event and it allow the, um, the economic benefits for mass leaders to make more and then by moving it to the October, moving the adult events to October, we allow for the expansion and also to raise in a new tourism product for the island. Contrary to previous years, McKenna noted that they are making a greater effort to have promoters involved in the island's carnival activities. He said there are also talks to have the route, judging points and parking areas adjusted. Our carnival would climax on a weekend. So we're looking at a Friday, Saturday, Sunday wave. Um, so we avoid the issue of education um, and having to write ministry to get approval to shut down schools for two days. Among the issues and suggestions which were presented by the stakeholders were a need for greater investment in band leaders and the carnival interest groups on the island, revitalizing of youth-focused carnival activities and presenting a product unique to Tobago. Chairman of the Tobago Festival Commission, Dr. Denise Soyafat Angus, employed these stakeholders to use their passion to ensure Tobago's carnival product maximizes the island's contribution to the economy. Consultations are expected to continue over the next six months.